Hi there viewers, Princess Strawberry here. Well, one of my viewers has just sent me a message now asking me, how do you stop a nosebleed? Because depending what kind, is it small, medium? If it's really large, like it will not stop, you might want to get to the hospital. So how I stop my nosebleed, my nosebleeds, is you're gonna need two pieces, count them, two pieces of toilet paper. So you should only need this. Fold it in half. So it looks like one. Okay, you don't need that on the end. So fold these in half, like this. Then fold it in, I call it hamburger way, so it looks like this. Now you're gonna curl it, see what I'm doing? Curl it like this. Make sure you try to make, kinda like you're rolling a cigarette, but not really. Okay. So you're going to get a tube that looks like this. You can see, okay. And then depending what side is bleeding, you do not want to plug your nose and pull your head back because that's just going to make the blood flow towards the back of your throat. And when it dries, it's not good because then it means, because there's a whole bunch of crap in the back of your nose and the back of your throat called germs from your nose and from you bringing it back in because sometimes you swallow sometimes you swallow germs so that could lead to a problem so what you so what I do with a nosebleed is like I just showed you you can make more than one of these you might want to because I just had a nosebleed today so what I do is it's kind of gross so don't watch this don't continue watching this video if you get grossed out easy so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that up your nose like that hold it plug this side of your nose and blow air out like this And what that will do is it will get the blood flowing out faster. And you take it out every few minutes. And you look at it. If there's a little bit of blood, like it's really light, then you're good. Then you throw that out, obviously. But if it's really heavy, then you might want to do it a few times. If it still doesn't stop, then you might want to get to a hospital or talk to your parents. But, yeah. So that's what I do. I just use toilet paper. Also, someone's asked me... When I take a shower, how long do I take one? Okay. Now, some of you might think this is a personal question, but really, I've had this question before. So, I have five steps when I take a shower. First step, I wash my hair, use shampoo and conditioner. Second, I wash my body. Three, I shave any part of my body that I like shaving. Four, I get out of the tub, I brush my hair. Five, I would brush my teeth. So, there's five steps. So... That's the five steps I use when I'm cleaning. Also, here's a helpful tip from Nurse Strawberry for you guys. People have been calling me Nurse Strawberry because I've been dealing with helping them with deal with a whole bunch of cuts and stuff. So, if you have a blister, if you have a scratch, scraped knee, any kind of cut, if you don't don't want to use peroxide because I know that hurts like hell. Just putting it out there, I have used peroxide. What you can do is there's a thing called Epsom salt from any drugstore, or you can use table salt. Just put a little bit in the bathtub. If it's Epsom salt, you might want to fill it part enough that you can maybe put a little bit in. Soak in the bathtub for a good 10 minutes. Do that twice a day. And I guarantee you that scratch, if there's an infection in it, it will be gone. You don't even need to go to the hospital because hospitals are busy enough, I'm just saying. So if you have any questions, please comment below and I will hopefully write them down and have them answered in my next video. So, and I just found my hair elastic. Also, here's another helpful tip for you guys. If you have a mosquito bite or if you have a wart on your skin, if you have a zit, you want to kill it right away instead of spending extra money on expensive products that will apparently get rid of it in a day what you do all you need is nail polish so this is pretty much a helpful video so what you do because I have a if you have blisters or open cuts I recommend not doing this but if you have um zit um zit wart or mosquito bite instead of using your nail to make an X because that doesn't always work just take a little bit of nail polish. I use this piece of paper as an example. So, here. Just quickly. 
and I just drew it on myself. That's always good. Okay, you see where this dot is? Just pretend for a second that's a zit or ward or mosquito bite. So all you do, really, I can move my keyboard without moving my phone. Take a little bit of nail polish. Now everyone's different. You either are gonna feel really cold there, or you're gonna feel really you're gonna feel heat. Everybody's different. So you take the wart or whatever it is, and you just put a little bit of nail polish over top. Now that you're gonna ask what that does, it's gonna kill it. Let's just say it's a wart or zit, or yeah, wart or zit. What it's gonna do is it's gonna kill it. So it can't breathe, and eventually it will die, and you just pick it off like you would if you were going to pick a scab. And that, so that's all you have to do. And if it's a mosquito bite, just do the same thing. Mosquito bites get itchy, and if you scratch them, you can make them bleed, and that could cause an infection. So back to the to salt topic. All you have to do with the salt is just soak in the tub, like I said, if you have an open cut. It will stop it from bleeding right away. It will clean the infection out. It's going to sting. But at least it helps. So like I said, if you have any questions from Nurse Strawberry, please comment below. Like, comment, subscribe because this video might be going on YouTube. And please share if you have any questions. Like I said, comment below or message me. Thank you for watching.